Alrighty, this is a longer sequence. Let's play this first in full. It's <laughs> cool. I like it. Uh, you are asking here. It seems like there is no sort of punchline thing. Should I change the choice I made to make it better or move on to your next shot? Um, it's a good question. I kind of I like it, though. My main concern is, is the size. Would you be open to, in my horribly drawn uh, reframing here, to reframe into this? Because he's so tiny. And we only go this low. Because you could go a bit closer. So it's just a bit bigger. So we see a bit more of the awesome animation. And you can always then tilt up and down more to, for reframing. It might get a bit fast as you go up here, but it could be cool. So it's not just a follow, but a more of a more dramatic up and down with the camera. I'm slightly concerned about silhouette-wise. Well, it starts cool, but it's just so small. And then even this here, we could be framed lower and closer. And then just do a, a bigger uh, pan with the character. You know, for something like this, where even if we're just this much closer, I'm really horrible at drawing straight lines. <laughs> and then we have that. That'd be my first thing. Other than that, I like this. I like that little scramble there. I like that. Stretchy there. I think we can push the timing a bit more. I mean, you are saying here that you are between IP and polish. My thing is that if you do if you do that type of stretchiness, right? So we're getting into fairly cartoon mode here in terms of that stretchiness. Even though it's fast, it's there and it's cool. I really like it. I think we could do something where you can do a bit of a jump up with a bit of a longer hold with a little bit of a snappier down and up and down just exaggerating the timing a bit more because doing this tells us all right, all right, all right. we are in a specific cartoon timing uh, or at least posing land world that means that you can push the timing a bit more to be a slightly more exaggerated just a bit i feel like this could be a cool moment of whip it's a bit of a whip hold and then swoosh, to kind of snap down a bit more into this. Now, regarding your ending, which is your main question. Because <laughs> this is all cool. Again, I would, it just, it's just too small for me, but that's totally up to you. And I really like that transition, by the way, of... I like that, and I like that turn. It's great. Now... You might argue, again, I don't know if any of these questions here are helping you, but since he's just swinging, right? And there's nothing going on in the background. He's just there, just swings. Like, all right, I get it. You're going, who is he saying bye to? Who is this targeted towards? So is that something that you want to add later? Is there something where it's going to be a stupid idea, so don't do it, but... You know, maybe there are people out here pew, 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 shooting, maybe windows. This is the wrong angle, but pew, 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 shooting, shooting, and then pew, 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 shooting here. So that maybe once he does this, it's going to be very distracting. But maybe, maybe someone's, I'm adding way too much work. Don't do this. I'm just thinking out loud. What if someone's running here with a gun, ready to shoot? Pew, 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 pew missing him so that when you're here it's kind of like a, a thing of there is a leg with a foot here <laughs> this perspective makes zero sense you mean there's a foreground element where a character is standing here maybe with a, uh, the angry fist i don't know something where we understand that well i'm saying bye to this guy whoever is there chasing the character i don't know just thinking a lot i know this makes zero sense i'm just wondering does this I mean, then you would argue, well, JD, if you want to put someone there and they're shooting all the time, well, they would be shooting here all the time and he's way too relaxed and this would make no sense. I totally understand. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, 
going back to your thing, it seems like the shot doesn't have some sort of punchline thing. What if? Hmm. Because I like all of this, right? Again, thinking out loud about maybe something goes on that motivates this, right? Something that does this. I mean, or, or, you could have a bunch of pigeons here. Boom, 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 and then they fly away, we land here, does this. Or there's a cat. Ah, gets scared and, and runs towards the thing, and it's here. Like something where the character's here. But also framing-wise, there's so much room here. It's almost like it's asking for something to be here. Little meow, little cat. This says bye to. And then, when he jumps out, comes up here, and we think this is the great exit moment I mean, I know this is mimicking the movie too much with the pigeons, but maybe then suddenly the pigeons come back in and, and attack him. And this is more like a, ah, and it falls down, pigeons following. Or he goes up here and the chopper doo -doo 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 -doo, hits him and fly, I don't know. <laughs> it's all stupid. I know what you mean. I don't mind the ending because it has a nice pause and then we, and I like that. Because you're going this way, it's almost like expecting something here ish but then it's actually coming here and it's a nice surprise that it's actually more left than we thought with the exit i know what you mean that we could also add something that's a bit more punchy in terms of like you said a punchline delivery so since that's your main question i don't even know if i've answered this in any satisfying way but it could be kind of fun i'm kind of smitten by the idea of what if you have a couple birds here and you know they get all scared and it's he is technically disturbing them and then this makes it a bit of a cocky like yeah it's fine bye bye and, you know a couple birds here freaking out and then the surprise punchline would be that then other birds come in to take him down and ah falls down and with a ton of birds following <laughs> i don't know that could be something it's a good question hmm or it would be something like I said, where he is actually escaping people, they're shooting and blah blah blah, and then goes back into again saying bye to someone. And then at this point, I mean, you could also have a chopper already here. It means that the chopper coming here is not so much of a surprise, and maybe just make that building a bit higher, still have a bit of negative space with the blue, but hiding the chopper that flies him, and maybe that gives it kind of a splat. It splat onto the side of the chopper then that flies by that could be something could it be something where it's a chopper with with missiles flying by and maybe this would be changed into bye bye and then that's more of a further hunching down a bit faster than that missile flies by over his head and then that's the look back of, yeah, whatever, because that thing went somewhere. And he goes, all right, bye-bye. It goes up here, and then here comes that moment of hold. And then suddenly, again, building might be a bit higher, to then that hits him and then pushes him away with smoke and him in a funny pose that's being pushed behind that building. That could be something. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. It's a lot of rambling. I'm not sure if it's a lot of helpful stuff, um, just in terms of your ideas. I would say... Watch this, email me, <laughs> um, tell me how stupid those ideas are. Um, just let me know. Maybe there's something that sparks a new idea and let's chat over email. Let's kind of go through some back and forth about what you think could work or not think. Yeah, I'm super picky, but I would take this line of that building and move it over here. So there's no tangent on that knee. Super picky. Um, let's just talk about that. And then once you're there, same thing with that drop. It's right where that line is. I will bring that building over here little things here and there and then maybe uh yes chat over email about some of the ideas um maybe one of those weird crazy ideas sparked something better in your head or maybe you like some of those ideas so let's chat all right awesome work though thank you very much all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you